everyone. First, I'm doing a direct. Let me put my volume on. Direct commentary because we have a king series, so we're gonna see how this goes. Um, the current king is James one nine six, defending his spot against V fifteen H Y because that's totally how you pronounce that name. Let's see. The first system is going to be serious, as always. And it seems like they've worked out some way of verifying their own ships. Um, what ships do we have? We have Vichy bringing out an Emperor. Definitely a reliable choice. Right there. He's got Nifrit as well. Ooh, that's unlucky for James. He picks a Bonari into an Emperor. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look. So he should be landing soon. He's not changing ship. Still be against the rules. Let's see. Is he still in the Bonari? Yes, he is. Okay. So this is a bit unfortunate for him. So yeah, pretty much this is up to them, like, we see um, Fishy showing some sportsmanship here, he could take a, a free match one, but he's trying to uh, make it a little bit more fair, I hope he doesn't make it so fair that he loses, that would be a real shame. But let's see what he's gonna bring out then. If it's only these serious ships, then, like, he could go Disruptor, in which case he should lose. He's really, really badly off then. Or he can go for a Punari Mirror match, in which case we'll be here for a long time. Um, but let's see. I think he's gonna bring out a configuration. He might go... What could be a, a good pick? If you wanna make a fun fight. See, I don't think fights against Punari are fun that often, because Punari is a very defensive ship. And it tends to either be very favored or very unfavored in a matchup. You could try it against a VQ maybe. I'm not sure how the Bunari versus VQ matchup goes. I, I assume the VQ wins. Good show of sportsmanship here. It is the CC, okay. Doesn't seem to have drones active. Don't hope he fixes that. not that much range exploiting or anything to be done here, they're just running at each other. Ooh, Vichy. Ah, Vichy's blasters are bugged on my screen. That's annoying. So his blasters are working, I'll just keep James selected so you can see the damage here. But this isn't gonna make um, as spectacular of a fight, unfortunately. So this is just blaster fighting for now, and Vichy holding off on his defense. James used the scrambler. Fishy going RD first, that's uh, very common because he wants to save the protector. Just throws the OS out, that's fine. So this is definitely going to be a fairly... Um, maybe out? Okay. So I guess Fishy trying to um, reset the fight because James used two items already, I'm not sure how much of a benefit there is in resetting in this matchup, to be honest. Um, it's mostly gonna come down to item orders, but Fishy, because he has the actuator, he should be getting his Reptroid in time, maybe? It's uh, quite possible that, that was the reason. Almost got some 10% there. James definitely needs to be careful with the OS. An OS that crits... Uh, very nasty, even if your ship is favored. You can lose badly. 
James now with an Ifrit. He's not going to be able to keep that running for long. Fishy played that out really well. Gets the Protector right on the moment. Whereas HP, like, where he's not wasting his RD. Not sure how much of that was planned, but it works out really well. Diminishes almost the entire stone. There's still a dome, of course, on, uh, on James. So, we have two people shooting each other. Welcome to Pirate Galaxy PvP. I have to see how um, his item orders goes down. So, James has. Ooh, excellent dodge. That's really well played by James. It's very difficult to pull that off these days. Yeah, the OS dodge. Really tricky maneuver because the OS is so fast. Fishy's still chasing. I do like that, because I don't think James has much. He might just die here. Yeah. So Fishy definitely catching on to the cooldowns there, and because of that, um, that actuator that Fishy has, it's really difficult to out cooldown him. That's normally how, uh, how Punari would win. Keep the stones on the opponent mess with their cooldowns, but with an actuator and a protector to defend yourself, it's it's really difficult to get through that. I can assure you that even with the full effects, this matchup isn't very flashy, both ships. Uh, the Punari literally only has a blaster in terms of style points, and then the CC can throw out an occasional OMS. He never even used the Magnet Trap in the entire fight. I do think it's quite a CC favorite. So limited though. Gemini. Okay, so he's picking the lower tech, yeah? Fair enough, fair enough. So in Gemini it's almost exclusively gonna be a Storm V Storm. Maybe Fishy will try um, to be fancy with an Engineer. Uh, not an Engineer, obviously, with a Shock. I'm looking at an Engineer, but I'm thinking about a Shock. RNG heavy PvP. So we have Fishy in a Storm and I'm, I'm expecting James to also be a Storm. But we'll see. So Fishy has landed. And now James. You may yeah. think that Storm v Storm is a, a basic matchup. There's actually quite a lot of skill to it. Uh, if you play it at a high level, there's a lot of subtle trickery that you can do. Obviously a lot of it comes down to the crits, but there's some pretty interesting stuff with RD timings and uh, We'll see if these two can give us a good show. Let's verify the tech. Um, it's what we expect it to be. Yeah, this is all the... Um, all of the um, expected items there on Vichy at least. So James also has the meta tech. He doesn't have a strong aim computer. He doesn't have a strong aim computer that might give him a disadvantage. But we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> Sir Man is challenging everyone. <laughs> there we go. This is round two. So let's see. Rockets, rockets. Did I both put NPC? James puts it and Vichy doesn't. The hit is indeed better for James. So James possibly trying to just make use of his, and there's the thermo. Yeah, James playing really aggressive. So I like this quite a bit actually. I don't think he should be a being after it though. I don't think that's um, the right play. But we'll see. Rocket back from Fishy. Fortunately, you can't dodge rockets in this game. James, is he gonna get bursted through his RD? Doesn't look like it. Vichy's RD should run out first. Ooh, he gets a nice crit there. Let's see. 2 0 Vichy. Well played. Well played. But Mizar has been selected. James selects Mizar for the third round. Does indeed bring out the Scorpion. Scorpion is a difficult ship to play against, I will say. And um, Miser also has limited uh, limited options because there's not 
all of the advanced tech is um, only available as rare. That's why the Mizar Hunter is surprising to me. Because, you know, you have a rare Sniper Blaster and you have a rare Attack Charge. Those are pretty important, I would say. But, uh, and Vichy brings out a Marlstone. Yeah. So Vichy just running in. James is going to try for a range exploit. Oh, doesn't go for it. This is his first rocket. He might have wanted to NPC there, but the stunned um, Vincent, possibly. Ooh, crit through a scramble. That's not was very lucky for James. Uh, the scrambler seems to be doing its job a bit now. Another crit. Uh, it's not, not the strongest scrambler I've ever seen. It is a strong scrambler, right? Yeah, it is. Not the best luck then. Not terrible either. He is missing a lot. Vichy burning both of his stuns at the start and immediately actuating them up as well. So he's definitely going to try to just keep James stunned most of the match. And James doesn't have defense left, so... I think Vichy can just turn and win this. Like, he still has both of his defensive items. But he wants to play it safe, he wants to stall out the RD. Puts his own one, walks back in. James not going for any kind of range exploit, he's just putting pressure. I do think James loses this now though. Don't think he can uh, get away from Vichy, unless if he lands a good ball. But Vichy being really safe already puts the shield up. Looks like James is out of range. Nah, Fishy gets back in. The Marl is uh, significantly faster than the Scorpion, so it's very difficult to which exploit for one. And now the stone is back. And, uh, yeah. Both players have AB, so James goes for um, a Valiant attempt. And Fishy uh, waits to deliver the final blow. Very stylish. So, yeah. As expected. Oh, he had lags. I thought he was being stylish. So, uh, being laggy is the same as being stylish, people. Don't forget that. So we're 3-0 for Vichy. It's um, starting to look like a new king. But we'll see. There's still uh, plenty of combat potential. Vichy would need two more wins. Two more rounds. Uh, in order to claim that spot. James... That's a quick pick this time. You didn't have to think long about that. And Terry is assisting Trifecta. We'll see what the players bring out. We have Vichy in a shock and we have James also in a shock. So we're gonna do a shock v shock. That is mostly what you'd expect for a 1v1, I think. The interesting difference here Vichy has an ancient repair droid and the rest strong. James has a long repair droid and the rest strong. So. That's quite interesting, because usually against Shock, the long repair droid is kind of good. It's, it's, it's hard to get around, I think. It is exploitable, if you know how. Again, James is the current king. Let's see Shock v Shock. This is uh, Fishy starting with the stun. I quite like this, personally. I don't like that. I don't like that he actuates it, because now he's really vulnerable. Yeah. See, the, the actuator into a stun, not very good. I, Yeah, James puts it, like, towards the end of the stun. Yeah, stun goes out. So I, I like what James did there. So you see Vichy go aggressive. And now neither ship has control, so he's just gonna leverage his uh, long RD. Yeah. This is a good play by James. I like it. He gets back in range. Vichy puts the RD just in time, actually. <laughs> Getting it a bit close there. Um, so now we get into an interesting situation because James's RD will run out at a similar time to Fishy's. Right? James is running back because his RD runs out. I think, I think he would have won. Like he's favored here. Look, 67% no RD against 100% no RD. They get their stun at the same time as well, because well, practically the same time because James gets a little bit more. Uh, of his stun went into increasing uh, Vichy's stun cooldown, if that makes sense. If you're the one that puts it second, then you get it uh, at about the same time. We'll see if Vichy gets to the distance here. 
I'm definitely a bit unfortunate, James. If he's stuck on top of his opponent, he could have ended it, I think. But choosing to play it a bit more careful. Fishy now turning back in. Most likely uh, because he calculates that he has his RD back in time. James going for a stun. He's gonna try to burst this down, maybe. Okay, Fishy puts the RD up. James will be favored here again, which is uh, quite apparent, but yeah, because he already used the stun, he has no way to really enforce the position. If Ishi stands on top of that, he, he's putting himself in a dangerous position here. He needs to be out of range by the time that stun ends, otherwise he's in trouble. Okay, he goes for the AB out. Let's see if he gets far enough, or if James catches up. If James catches up here... Fishy should be dead. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. I think Fishy loses. He doesn't have anything. Yeah, that's it. Oh, miss. Hit. There we go. Three one. And James puts one on the board. Very well played. Um, the long RD definitely favors you in a stun v stun. But uh, yeah, well played. You leveraged that quite well. Is she gonna go with Soul? So uh, a lot of people like Sol, <laughs> and Vichy specifying Sol advanced. That is uh, that is what people will assume you mean when you say Sol. But yeah, it is. Um, it's good to be safe, I guess. <laughs> Not to um, get your opponent in uh, a level 55 ship. That would be a bit unfair. Let's bring out a Punari. He seems to quite favor the Punari. So let's take a look. Did he have anything else? It looks like it was the Punari or the Sniper. So Punari definitely an understandable choice. And we'll see what uh, what Vichy brings out. Let's hope it's not an Emperor again. It's not, it's the Chrome again. Okay, uh, James goes back into Hangar. I'm gonna assume that it was a drone issue for now. Unless if uh, Fishy wants to file a complaint, then uh, we'll just allow this. But it seems like uh, these guys are definitely very respectful to each other, which is uh, which is great. You know, we are here to have a competition, of course, but we're also here to have fun. And, uh, to put down some good PvP. So. The return of the matchup. I think the tech is the same as well. Let's see um, what we get. And you can definitely see here, like, look at the values. Ooh, 1%. James, we'll, we'll say that it's calculated. You know. Uh, he does get his Ifrit up now. That's actually good. Getting some extra damage in. Yeah, he's protecting himself with the scrambler as well, so... Really leveraging that if it. That's quite clever. Mm, goes out of range slightly. That's... That's quite unfortunate. Um, well, let's see. Vichy ABs and then backs into the fight. Probably trying to go for a bait play. I do think that James shouldn't have re-engaged into there. But he might have an issue now, because he can't run away. There is a Magna Trap still available. So, um, let's see what the plan is here. I think he's going to try to stun him out. Preemptive prods. Oh, that should be up soon. James. Oh, he predicted that perfectly. Wow. Really well played. So, Vichy... Maybe giving away his hand a little bit. Ah, uh, James still doesn't get his defense up in time. That's unfortunate. He played that really well with that prediction. Wow. Just, you have to be perfect because on a trap, like, y you have decent speed if you put your AB after the trap gets placed down, but it's less than a normal AB. We'll see what... Um,
we'll see what sort of system we're gonna get now. It is match point now. Let's see what um, what James decides to do. So yeah, there's um, in chat once again the reasons why we limit the matches. Um, the referees are still humans with limited time. That's part of the reason, but also definitely we don't want people to just spam matches until they win. That that that's not. Uh, we'll see. James finishes it with Mizar once again. So let's see what. Um, let's see if we get the same ships or if he's gonna bring out something else. He might uh, might have a trick up his sleeve. James brings out a Punari instead of his uh, his previous pick and it's a chrome <laughs> it's a chrome vipo again <laughs> feeding each other out oh there was a red issue okay well, that one solved. and the blasters commence and fishy yeah uh, that's very good, he, he sees that he doesn't have the burst potential with his OS as much. James looks like he's trying to go for an Ifrit play. No, he doesn't have any fruit. RD first this time. He's gonna chase this. Yes. Okay. So you have a chase. James used his RD if he shouldn't use anything yet. Now use his RD as well. And there it is, yeah, the stun into RD. This is really annoying because Vichy doesn't want to prod right now. Right, okay, so he brought about half of the stun there. But yeah, that, that, that's a really good trick to stun into the RD, because they don't want to stack the prots on the RD, usually. It's kind of bad. So, some blaster warfare here. James using his scrambler to try and get ahead a bit. Another OS. Now the stun though, because, yeah. James, probably just gonna wait a little bit. Uh, okay, at least he doesn't fall for the bait, that's good. We'll see when he wants to go in. He should have his RD up pretty soon. Let's say, there it is. As soon as he gets the RD, he goes back in. So that's pretty clean. And James still held his, uh, his afterburner. Obviously there is the trap to deal with uh, with that issue, but Fishy doesn't have prot yet. It got stunned on cooldown, so yeah, James managed to manipulate this fight to a point where Ooh, Fishy's also playing strong repair right. I'm not sure if that's on purpose. It's not what you want against the Punari. Didn't notice that yet. Uh, James might be playing a bit too defensive. He's going back. Trying to go back in, now Vichy doesn't want to fight, so... Both players really defensive here, which... Uh, it's interesting, Vichy looks like he's trying to bait. This time James goes for it. I don't think that's bad. He should just be pressuring. And there's the trap, so... This doesn't do much, it just stalls time, for the most part. James just gonna kill the trap. Fishy gets his cooldowns back a bit. James definitely should be shooting Fishy instead of the trap at this point though. Well, let's see. Well, this turn there should be a prot up though, I think. Yeah, prot set off this time. So that's a bit of a waste. And uh, James definitely not happy about that. Pew pew pew. Scrambler doing its job definitely. Might have cast or cursed that. James needs to do something, he's gonna get a west soon. Sneaky sneaky, times the uh, stun down, so Vichy can't, uh, can't chase him right away, he should be able to get out of range now, yeah, nice. Puts the RD up, 
I think he can go back in, he agrees. Yeah, this is... This is very technical. It may not be the prettiest PvP to look at, but there's a lot going on uh, in the heads of these players trying to calculate uh, each other's cooldowns, calculate who is uh, who is ahead and who is not. So it's uh, honestly quite difficult and really shows a lot of experience. It's understandable to be careful. It's just so difficult to calculate when. when you're ahead. Both dropping quite low, but both still have uh, plenty of defensive items, <laughs> so... Okay, James accurately predicts the OS, very good. So he put his RD just in time to... Uh, not get one shot by the OS. Vichy is running low on defense. He has the prods. She's gonna put soon. Yeah, there it is. But James also has a prod. He has more HP and an earlier RD. Also, as soon as this prod gets shot out, Vichy will be stunned. But the OS does a lot here. I'm also not sure about the magnet uh, timing. Whether or not Fishy is close to having that back. Well, <laughs> right as I say it, there it is. So Fishy gets saved by his magnet. We'll see what um, the continuation here is. James just choosing to walk out of it this time. He could be getting some shots in on the magnet, I guess. Take it out of the uh, out of the equation for later. But yeah, Fishy just. Biding his time, actuating, let's get some cooldowns back. He might be trying to bait for an OS. James is within OS range, but a stun. Yeah, he needs to RD that. OS, but yeah, it doesn't quite do enough. Definitely, you, know, you need some blasters with that. The OS is just not very strong, if it's a rare. And Fishy runs back towards his magnet. He's probably gonna try to um, juke around that. Yeah, that does seem to be the case, so this is something you can do with the magnet where it's just it's really difficult for your opponent to actually get to you, it's near impossible I would say. That's why I do recommend uh, trying to take the magnet out of the fight, otherwise it will be back up really low cooldown with the actuator, but Fishy once again, like, he's getting it close with his defense every single time, so... James definitely so far has been a lot safer, I think, with his cooldown management. So Trap gets taken out of the equation. Fishy... Once again, James is in OS range, so... Just throwing the throwing the items out. I do think Vish is being out cooldown slowly but surely. Is that a double stun trick? Mm, don't think it was. I've seen that wrong. Double stun is not as powerful as it used to be, unfortunately. But it can definitely catch people off guard. But Fishy gets the prod up in time. Um, we'll see though if James breaks this prod once again. Be in a good spot with the OS. Just that extra bit of damage that the Punari lacks. James, yeah, J James just goes in and. Uh, yeah. Well, that's GG. That's a 5 1 victory for Vishnu. So, we have a new king. Some very clean plays there, honestly. Really good cooldown management and... Uh, very impressive, so... I hope you all enjoyed and... Uh,
I'll catch you on the next one.